What's up guys, Grizzly Wizard here, welcome back to the channel. The time has come to watch Avatar, the live action Netflix adaptation. Whew, man, I am, I'm full of anticipation for this, I'm very excited, I'm cautiously optimistic. Those of you who have been watching this channel for a while have followed my journey through Avatar The Last Airbender for the very first time, I posted my reactions right here, and it's become one of my favorite shows. I just The storytelling is incredible, the voice acting performances, the animation... I could go on and on about it, but I think we all love the cartoon. That's why we're here watching the new one, right? Will it hold up to those high expectations? I don't know. I really can't tell. The marketing's been fantastic. The trailer was so polished. Visually, it looks great. But there's so much you can't convey in just a trailer, right? We really have to sit and watch the thing to know how it's going to hold up to the original. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of things have been changed along the way, what things get left out, what things are included. And it's very possible that some of these things are going to go right over my head. Because, like I said, I've only seen Avatar once, right? So, I still consider myself um, somewhat of a newcomer to the Avatar fandom. You know, I'm only on book three of Korra right now, for example. Uh, those reactions are also coming out on the channel. So, I'm going into this with an open mind, and I expect to be entertained, if nothing else. Uh, without further ado, Avatar, The Last Airbender, Episode 1. Let's go. Oh. Starting off with Times New Roman, that's a choice. There's the comet. Run, kid! Oh, that ain't a kid, that's a man. Is that Fire Nation chasing him? Looks like it. This, the, like, the set is awesome. I love the street scene. I don't think he's gonna stop. Whoa! Okay, there we go, fire bending, right out of the gate. Oh, sick. He's an earthbender. Yes. Ooh. I've never understood how people withstand the bending blasts so well. Like, rocks in your face at velocity? That's going to kill you. Oh. Should have immolated that man. You know what I mean? Oh, that's sick. Okay, that is badass. That better kill them, honestly. Like, that's... Oh god, your human body can't withstand that. Get that to the Earth King. They're going to start a war. They're going to start a war. Okay. This must be flashback. This must be pre hundred years war actually starting. God, the bending is awesome. Woo! Oh, I was gonna say, the earth bending moves are too slow. The fire goes so fast. The battle plans are already on their way to the Earth Kingdom. Oh, wow, we're here. Good. You, you wanted us to know. Yeah, he wants all eyes on you guys so he can wipe out the airbenders. We aren't the real target. My sights are set higher. Much higher. Hmm, mm-hmm. Get it? Because <laughs> they're flying? Why are you doing this? World domination! Because it is our time. Jesus! God, that's horrifying. Damn. Really intense, dark vibe so far. I like it. Water. Earth. Oh my god, they're doing the intro! Yes! Fire. Air. Oh, this is awesome. Kyoshi! The one person. Oh my god, Kyoshi's so cool. Four elements. Okay, that's badass. Since the death of the last Oh my god, look at them all. The new incarnation. And there's Roku going up the stairs. I wonder if they had Juan on those on those stairs as well. The next master of all four elements, an airbender who may not be ready for the responsibility of becoming the Avatar. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh, I got to chill from that from that intro a little bit actually. Ang. Okay, so we're going to be focusing on it. This might whole episode might be pre-flashback. Or, like, might be in the flashback. You know what I mean? Gorgeous. God, look at that. I'm loving the art direction so far. It feels like a really faithful recreation. Just visually, at least. Hey! Is that Gyatso? Cool. Oh, cool. His tattoo is, like... It's not solid blue, it actually has like an intricate design in it. 
It's like they've melded the two different Ang tattoo ideas together. I like that a lot, actually. There may come a day when you wish you'd spend more time with your teachers. Yeah, that's gonna... That one's gonna sting you in, a, in about a hundred years. <laughs> There's still a lot of work to be done before the air nomads from the other temples arrive. How many are coming? Sky Bison? Yes! Oh, that's amazing. I'm really impressed. They look like the fur looks so good. Look at this happy little air temple. Everyone's having a great time and smiling. I hope nothing terrible is about to happen. It wasn't the right time. We don't have the luxury of waiting for the right time. Damn. Gyatso's trying to protect him. He's trying to preserve his childhood as long as he can. To receive the markings of a master, but he is only 12. Oh, that's an awesome room. Look how the stained glass is like gusts of wind. If my Lord Sozin is planning to attack the Earth Kingdom, we need to help them as well. No, see, it's a ruse. Do not send people to the Earth Kingdom. Keep them here. But there's much he still needs to learn about responsibility, expectations, sacrifice. The power of friendship. He needs to know who he is. It's a complicated situation because, like, Gyatso's totally right. If Aang doesn't receive all the instruction he possibly can, he may fail to be what they need. But his personality is foundational to that, too, and he's still in his formative years, you know? You are the Avatar. He does not like that news. Can't I just keep pretending I'm your friend? You are my friend. You will always be my friend. So far, the acting performances are there, man. They're solid. Yeah, this is shaping up well so far. We all know what's coming. He's got his pack and his kite. He's about to run. Hey, Abba. Oh, <laughs> Abba! Couldn't sleep either, huh? Oh my god, he's so cute. I like how he still kind of has the arrow, but it's mostly just like a fur pattern. Scared. Yeah, the, the, the fur, the animation is just so impressive to me. A great shot, and he will never see any of them again. At least he had like a really nice, sweet last conversation with Gyatso. Like, can you imagine if they'd like had an argument and yelled about it, and then he'd stormed out, and that's the last time he got to see him? Oh, Jesus! Yeah, the Fire Nation looks badass, though. No survivors. Remember, no Russian. God. That's my favorite firebending move, too, when they just use their hands as jet thrusters. Damn. Brothers and sisters, we're under attack! Ooh! Come on, airbenders. Put up a good fight, at least. Let's go! Yes! Ooh! And this is just one bender, one airbender, too. Everyone else needs to wake up. Fuck, no! Ooh! God, you're on fire and his back hit like a concrete thing. Come with me, quickly! Oh, no. And Gasso's gonna think that Aang is, like, in the middle of the attack somewhere. Because he doesn't know he left. That's so intimidating. It looks like there's, like, flaming projectiles coming in, and really it's just more firebenders arriving, you know? Fight! Fight to the last man! Ooh! That was sick! Oh cool, the whole airbending council's awake now. They just shared a look of mutual goddammit. <laughs> Maybe we should head back home. That's the worst thing you could do right now, unfortunately. Like, Aang, Aang holds himself... He feels guilty that he didn't stay to help these people, but he couldn't have helped them yet. He didn't have any other bending yet. Oh! Jesus, they're just cooking them on the ground. Oh, it's a massacre. They don't have the numbers. This music's fantastic, also. Come on! God, just with like a smoldering hole in his chest. I still think getting killed by a firebender would be preferable to getting killed by an earthbender, though. As a claustrophobic, no thanks. <laughs> Damn. Come on, man. God, the fire nation is brutal. Just 
She tried spinning. It was a good trick until it wasn't. Here we go. Gyatso's last stand, and he's protecting the children. That's heartbreaking. He's about to die defending these kids, thinking that Aang is already dead. Fuck, that's a big wave! Okay, come on, Gyatso. At least go down like a, like a hero. Nice. Nice. Oh, he's like scary powerful. <laughs> what? Oh, God. It's too badass. All right, Avatar State, Aang. You got to do it. No, not in front of the children. God damn it, Sozin. God, it's a horrifying way to go, too. There it is. The boy in the iceberg. Hey, Katara. Okay, 100 years later. Practicing some water bending. Oh, nice. Oh, that looks fantastic. That looks just like season one. Yeah, visually, they've been killing it this whole time. You know, the costumes, the buildings. We've been manning the wall in Sokka. three hour shifts, but it seems some of you can't be trusted to stay at your posts. Oh, he's going to be talking to a bunch of young kids. Yep. <laughs> so the men are off at war. Yeah, they just don't appreciate your incredible leadership skills. That's right. They don't realize it. Very funny. <laughs> Tara! Good job. I'm not doing this. See? That little moment just showed that Sokka cares about his sister. He just admonished her for trying to waterbend. But when he thought she was just now, he was like, good job. <laughs> he was supportive of it. Ooh. Right into the snow. Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. She's gonna have to water bend you guys to safety now. What is that? Huh. Weird. Oh wow. The iceberg. Look at that. Oh man. I love the Fire Nation uh, ships and like machinery. I think it's a great like bit of world building that they have like the technological edge in this war because the fire fire bending leads to like the industrial revolution. You know, they have metal, they have machines, combustion engines. Water bending a boat towards you is a lot like using the force. Wait, why are the statues going into Avatar State? What up, Zuko? Is her bending activating the iceberg? It's like Aang is just reacting to bending in his vicinity. Oh! Yeah, there's no way Zuko didn't see that. <sighs> Give off a beacon, why don't you? Oof! <laughs> God. Just slid down. Katara, a strange glowy iceberg just exploded and left behind a mysterious little bald person. What part of that makes you think, great, let's bring him home? What part of that makes you think, great, let's leave him here? Come on, Sokka. Zuko's gonna, gonna home in on this location, and from there it's not far to get to the, the Water Tribe village, so... Let me take a look. Grand, grand! Come on. That does look like a really comfy bed. All the furs. Where you think we'll find the Avatar. Yes. Because of the light. Iroh! He's my favorite character in the cartoon. I don't think your father would want you. My father has banished me until I find the Avatar, and that's exactly what I'll do. It'll all be worth it once I return home in glory to take my place as the rightful heir to the Fire Lord. Wow, Zuko's already tragic. <laughs> Just from this first conversation. Kids playing. This is what he wanted to find. This is what he was running away from, you know? Responsibilities that would take him away from this, from being a kid. <laughs> Get away from him! He could be the enemy. Oh my god, Sokka, calm down. Sky Bison. Sky Bison! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yes! 
I love it. He just said Sky Bison like three times, and then when it shows up, someone's like, what is that? <laughs> Sky Bison. Sky Bison. You say you went down in the storm? Oh, look at that. Look at the massive rib cage in the hut. For the Great Comet Festival. The Great Comet Festival. Cool, that gives her a timeline. Now we know it's a hundred years ago. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the, when the fire, fire nation, nation attacked. Ah, oh, she's doing the thing! Everyone in the village knows this story, but you don't. Just as you don't know that airbenders haven't been seen in generations. Because you've been trapped in that ice this whole time. I feel like there was a, a gentler way to break this news to a 12-year-old child. I mean, she's being very straight up about it, though. God, poor Aang. He is the last airbender. Chills. And he's more than just the last airbender. He's also the Avatar. We're never really ready until we have to be. That goes for you, too, Aang. You didn't feel ready, but you have to be now. I had friends in the Fire Nation. Only friends with their own kind. Which is, like, the biggest tragedy of all. You know, everyone being isolated, the cultures don't get shared, distrust only grows. How about a nice cup of jasmine tea? There it is. And so your return home may be unexpected. You're wrong. No, he sent you on a wild goose chase on purpose. Iroh knows it. The actor's doing such a good job, like, portraying how bothered Iroh is with the path Zuko is on, but he can't say anything yet, like it's not his place. And Zuko can't hear it yet. You're a waterbender. Barely. I'm a warrior. I should be able to do more for our people. It's perfect, because what Katara really needs is someone with any sort of experience in bending to show her fundamentals. And what Aang needs is someone to teach him water bending. you know? Match made in heaven. Oh, the music. Chills. You just have to let go. Oh, God, no. Drop it. There's a ship coming. It's headed straight for the village, too. Oh, come on. This meager technology is not going to be enough. But what can they do, right? They've got to do what they can. What could they possibly want? Yeah. They saw the iceberg beacon. You are the Avatar. Man, this is so much fun. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this so far. I knew he was hiding something. Oh, when come off it, Sokka. The Avatar, the most he vanished. You can't do this. You can't give him to He them. doesn't belong here. It's wrong. And come on, wrong. Sokka. I know is that Dad told me to protect the village. Yes, but remember what Mom told us. He's trying to do what's right, but he's wrong. We have to protect those who can't protect themselves. Katara's totally right, but it's ironic that Aang is currently way more capable of protecting himself than the rest of the village. More to being a leader than just catching fish. You have to give people something to live for. See, Sokka can be boneheaded, but he understands the right choice when it needs to be made, you know? There it is! I've been waiting for him to pick that up. I'm Sokka, son of Akoda, lord of uh, snow and ice. Nice. <laughs> I demand that you leave immediately. If this is the path you've chosen, then so be it. Let's sell this between us. Leader to leader. I thought you firebenders had some guts. It's no contest. Well, where's the glory in that? Oh, he's falling for it. <laughs> Too bad Zuko's gonna handle his ass. Ooh! <laughs> Ugh. I mean, Sokka's got some brass balls going up against a firebender without any bending. Like, you gotta respect it. God! Don't do it! Okay! Alright, Aang has revealed himself. Let's go! Ah, oh, yes, with the music! Woo! Y'all just got wrecked by a 12 year old! You are professional soldiers! <laughs> Yes! Yes, the children! <laughs> Come on! Good job, Sokka. You trained them well. He's so proud. He's so proud of his little kids right now. Burn the whole place to the ground. Oh, shit. No! I'll go with you. I'm the one you're looking for. No one has ever fought for me before. I think you're the bravest person I've ever That's met. That's so heartbreaking, man. Gyatso fought so fucking hard for you, dude, and you don't know. You don't know. Like, it hurts to hear him say that, knowing what Gyatso suffered at the end. Yeah, that kind of rocked your worldview, didn't it? He, we have to do something. He's the reason you and your village are still here, and you have to 
acknowledge that. Now, let's go save that weird kid. Yes, there it is. Welcome back, Sokka. So the drive to conquer is a drive for peace and unity. Is that what you believe? I must leave. <laughs> I was like, damn, this kid's good. I, I gotta get out of here. Jasmine tea sent to you. It's quite soothing. <laughs> uh, he's perfect. He is picture perfect. The performance, like the mannerisms. This is Iroh. It feels like he stepped out of the cartoon. Nice. That was so slick. Man, these guards are dumb. They could not have sounded more like jingly jangly keys throwing into someone's hand. <laughs> and he's like, huh? Must have been my imagination. There's a no way you're getting me on that. <laughs> <laughs> The vibe of this show so far in general is a bit more serious and intense and dramatic, but there are a lot of lighthearted moments. And I feel like it hasn't lost the the entire vibe of the cartoon. You still feel it present. Stop him! Ooh! And he's out! Open fire! Oh shit, take evasive action! Oh my god, massive fireball. <laughs> really impressive shot from Zuko there, honestly. Ooh! What a catch! Are you kidding me? Don't you hurt that bison! Up a lookout! Katara? With the water? Fuck yes. Oh, this is fun. This show's gonna be fun. Yeah, the beef has begun. God, poor Z I have such a complicated feeling about Zuko. Like, I feel so bad for him. Oh, no. I get that Aang needs to see this for himself, but it's gonna be hard. In the place where Gyatso died. It was one of the it was one of the most like one of the first moments in the cartoon I remember being like, oh wow, this is actually like pretty dark when we find Gyatso's skeleton. And it makes sense that all these relics and all these things from a hundred years ago are still just left where they fell because once there's no more airbenders, no one can really fly up here, you know? So it kind of becomes an unreachable location. And in Aang's perception, he was here like last week, you know? This doesn't feel like a hundred years ago. It was like yesterday for him. Let's know. Oh, man. Avatar State? What are we doing? He's getting super emotional. He's having like rage and fury and grief right now. And it's triggering the state. Dang, you gotta calm down, buddy. The temple's gonna come down around you. He doesn't care. He just lost everything. I'm... I can't imagine a better person being given this power. Man, that's really sad. I need to follow through on what they wanted me to do. Complete my training and master all the other bending skills so I can bring balance back to the world. Oh, is that all? <laughs> this was my home. It's drawing the next avatar. How we do anything to get it back. Anything. And he's the first one with any direct knowledge of this new avatar, too. I'm the avatar. And this is just the beginning. Let's go. And there's the music! I love it. This outro track was always my favorite part of watching the show. I would never skip the credits, because it's just... It's too good. It's too good. Okay, and we're in it. We have, we've, we're underway. The first episode is down. And you know what? I enjoyed it more, I think, than I thought I was going to. I was really cautiously optimistic for this going in because, well, you know, the M. Night Shyamalan helmed live action adaptation. We were all there. All right, we all saw what happened. And so after that, I was like, never again. But honestly, I think I think it's got its hooks in me. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to watching the rest of the show. Um, I think the acting performances are what's taking me by surprise at this point. 
I knew it was going to be visually gorgeous. I knew the art direction was going to be stellar because that was very apparent from the trailers. But having watched the first episode, the story's there. The acting is there. Like, um, it is a bit of a departure in terms of, like, overall it was a bit more serious, a bit more dramatic feeling. Um, but it still had lighthearted moments, and there's still, like, moments of comedy, enough so that, like, you feel like those elements are present in the characters. You know, it hasn't been stripped down to just just the drama and just the action. It feels it does feel well-rounded for what it is. Um, yeah, really enjoying this. I can't wait to watch the next episode. I'm going to dive into it right now. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. How does it hold up? to the original cartoon. Um, are you enjoying the show? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know, and let me know why. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to the first episode of Netflix's Avatar The Last Airbender. Um, this reaction has been edited to comply with fair use. It's been cut down to 10 minutes of length. This episode is over an hour long, which means there's a lot of choice reactions that get left on the editing room floor. But if you want to check out the full-length, uncut version of this reaction, it's available on Patreon, along with all the other Avatar reactions. There's a link in the description of the video to the Patreon page where you can check those out. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next one.